Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Python. Today it will be our second part of the calculator tutorial. So at the end of the first part we left having completed the numbers zero, numbers 0 to 9. So the second part is doing the rest of calculators. So that's plus, minus, divide, multiply, clear and quit. And then we're going to export it using PyInstaller. So let's go to the screen. So zoom in, so that's all right. So the first thing to do is to create our extra buttons. So let's take a, get an image of what we left off with last time. So last time we had this, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. N now we're going to create the rest of this and export this all so it doesn't require the Python environment again. So the clear button, it's very simple. We build the buttons build the button and then we have our function here but instead of having insert we use delete and we're going to specify what we're going to delete so we're going to delete from the start 0 to the end so we're going to call tkr.end unless you've done the from tkr.import asterisk or import star in which case you just need the end and now the next thing to do is to do our plus minus divide and times so Exactly the same thing, like I showed you with the zero, like these ones up here, you create the buttons, except instead of the uh, having the number as a the insert as a number, you have it as a text with the symbol in it, followed with um, uh, quotation marks either side of it. You're basically inputting it as a text. And remember, the multiply is an asterisk. So the next thing is the equals. So create the button again, and in our function, this is the most complex function here, and we have our, we're going to basically what we want to do is we want to summarize what is in this input box here. So you want to times that, times, you know, add six equals. So you want to basically have one number here which summarizes what uh, this is. So what we're going to do is essentially uh, calculate what's in the input box, get rid of the calculation and bring back the result. So that's exactly what we do. So we're using the ccalc.get. Remember ccalc is the name of our input box. So .get is getting all the values in the input box. And then with the eval function, we're going to evaluate all the values and call that R. Next thing we're going to do is delete exactly the same thing as a clear function is we're going to delete the whole all the values in the input box and then we're going to bring back r and that's quite simply do the insert box but instead of having dot tkr dot end here like you had here is we're going to have r so that's what it, that is the equals for you so what we're doing is we are storing the result of the input box as r getting rid of all the calculations and bringing back the result. And the final thing is creating our, um, our quit button. And for this one, we don't even need the function. We just put in the command, you know, which links our function, our button to what action we want it to do. We put app.destroy. Remember app is the name of our window where all the buttons are in. And what it does is it basically terminates all the everything, uh, all the windows created, everything created by Tkinter from the top down. So from app, it destroys the app and it destroys all the buttons as well. And that's why you're left with, you know, quit. Just, um, gets rid of everything. Remember this app app main loop is what helps this whole thing to run. And then. When you finish with that, you can then use row and column to sort out and sort of uh, grid everything however you want it. You can also use dot pack as well if you prefer. And then you should be ended up with something like this. This should be your final output. And if you want to change the colors, you can put, you know, you can use between app and width or anywhere here. You can put, you know, FG for the text. It's, um, and then you can put, you know, blue, 
you know, black, brown, and so on. And then for the actual background in the button, you can put BG and it will change the color to whatever, what number you put in, what color you put in here. That's if you wanted to specify even more. But let's get rid of that. We don't want that. And that's it. That is our calculator created. The next thing to do is to export it using Pi Installer. So what we're going to do is go to our, uh, this is how I do it, is go to Anaconda Prompt. Uh, you change directly to wherever your scripts file is. It might be different if you're using Idle or a different Python environment, but this is how I, you do it if you're using Anaconda. And then you type in Pi Installer calculator.py and it's um, exporting it as we speak. So it's running through it, running through the program and it's completed. The next thing to do is to go into our Pi installer, go into our scripts file, go to our calculator build and here it is. Uh, let us, now I never remember which one it is. I think it's this one here. Here it is, and this is our calculator. So that is it. I really hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Check out more of my tutorials on my channel, and don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. Thanks very much for watching.